Eight new COVID-19 cases confirmed today. They included one case from a worker's dormitory, but none from the community. The remaining seven were imported and had been placed on stay-home notices or isolated on arrival in Singapore. More details will be released tonight. Well, from next Friday, visitors from Taiwan will be able to come into Singapore for all forms of travel and not be quarantined. But this is subject to them testing negative for COVID-19 on arrival. The same applies to Singapore citizens, PRs and long-term pass holders returning from Taiwan. The opening is unilateral as restrictions in Taiwan remain in place with leisure and social visits by foreigners currently banned. Meanwhile, a Singaporean woman who allegedly left her residence to buy bubble tea while serving a stay-home notice was charged today. 22-year-old Nurul Afika Muhammad was supposed to serve her stay-home notice from March 21st to April 4th, but is said to have gone out on multiple occasions, exposing her friends and others to the virus. Not only did she leave her Woodlands Drive residence to buy bubble tea at Causeway Point two days into her SHN, the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority accused Nurul of travelling to Pungol Field to help her friends with wedding preparations on April 2nd and Third, She also allegedly visited other public places. Nurul is facing seven charges under the Infectious Diseases Act and she intends to plead guilty. She'll be back in court on January 22nd. A 14-year-old teenager has been arrested for his suspected involvement in the murder of his 49-year-old father. The police said today that they received a call for assistance at a residential unit in Flora Road shortly after 10 a.m. Upon arrival, officers found the man injured and lying motionless. He was taken to Changi General Hospital unconscious where he later died. The teenager was arrested at the scene and will be charged in court later today with murder. Police investigations are ongoing. From next Friday, December 18th, Grab will start charging a platform fee of 30 cents. It's inclusive of GST and will apply to all Grab rides except those from Grab Hitch and Grab Response. It's the first such move by the firm to adjust its ride hailing prices since the Competition and Consumer Commission of Singapore lifted restrictions on it in November. Grab said two-thirds of the fee will be used to improve safety and security, among other things. The remaining one-third of the fee will go towards initiatives to support drivers which include benefits and training allowances. Mark your calendars for February 23rd because that's when Walt Disney's streaming service Disney Plus will launch in Singapore. The service will carry titles from film brands like Marvel, Pixar, Star Wars, Disney and National Geographic. It will also carry the Star brand for families and older teenagers. And this will make Singapore the first market globally to launch with all six Disney Plus content brands. The service is priced at $11.98 a month or $119 and 98 cents a year.